Ethiopia. Yes. Going to the hotel. Look. Yes, hello. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, fast, fast. Go, go, go. Come on, fast. Sport. Yes. Ethiopia running. Running champion. Mr. What? My money yellow. You're running very fast. Yes, let's go. Hotel. Looking for a hotel, right? Let's go. Let's go, hotel. Bahidar. Let's go. Let's go. Bahidar. Bye bye. Goodbye. This is Addis Ababa University, the oldest university in all of Ethiopia, and probably the most famous one. Addis Ababa streets here. We see all the streets are very finely paved, and we have some nice trees here. It looks like no shortage of churches in Ethiopia. Very Salam. 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 This is my first day out of Addis Ababa. On the main highway, we see some rock sculptures here carved out in the shoulder. That's the Lion of Judah, the national symbol of Ethiopia. And then it looks like we have a giraffe over there. Anyway, into the mountains. I've been going up and up and up on my first day, but the roads are very nice. The sun is shining. Plenty of trees around me. Let's keep going. Hello, how are you? We have coffee, coffee, and flour, flour, and this one. Laos. Laos. Ah, ooh, so delicious. Oh, I want to eat everything. Mm. Oh yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. The scenery looks pretty beautiful, but as I cycle out of Addis Ababa, as I learned yesterday in the Museum of Red Terror, that along these roads, the, anybody that opposed the socialist regime that was in power for a number of years here, all of their families were murdered and tortured, and they left thousands of children out here on the road outside of Addis Ababa, all the dead children they gave to the hyenas to eat here. So back in the 70s, this was basically a haunted corpse party out here, if you will. So anyway, cycling here is bringing some chills down my spine. So hopefully there are no ghosts roaming around. Anyway, very sad. <laughs> that is for child. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Ja, ich tue mich aber. Ja, ja. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying Naro. Yes. Cycling in Ethiopia day two. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day two. From Addis Ababa. Ababa. Yes. Yesterday we stayed in a hotel for 50 beer. Yeah, 50 Price beer. Is one dollar and seventy-five cents. <laughs> and then had four cups of coffee. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Coffee history starts here. <laughs> yes. And now we have the open road. We're going on and coming up today, 25 kilometers straight uphill. Yeah. So it should be a good day for cycling. The sun is shining. <laughs> Salam. 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 People are very friendly so far. <laughs> Here we have another friend, he's from Japan, cycling from Cape Town to Cairo. Oh yeah. Yes. Here's his bike here, still looking good. <laughs> and we're enjoying this nice scenery here. About to go downhill and up these mountains. This place is a cyclist's worst nightmare. Cracked beer bottles everywhere. Salam. 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 Your bicycle, very beautiful. Wow. Ethiopia bicycle. Ethiopia cycle. Wow. What? Money? You money. You money. Huh? Salam. Huh? Salam. Salam, salam. Found a good place to sleep tonight with these villagers. Salam. Yeah, right here in this tent. Looks like a good place. Oh. Hello, Salam. Salam. Hello. Giving you 100. What? 500. Oh. I am for Salam. Salam. How are you? My name is George. Salam. Salam. Hello, come. Hello, how are you? Video. 
We stayed here last night. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Mama Sekinaro. We stayed here last night. This guy kindly invited us into his home. And uh, we were kind of stuck in the dark. And now we have a nice, had a nice sleep here. Nice breakfast, had some coffee, speaking with body language, and Amarek. It's a very, very nice family. I was happy to meet them. And they're obviously very curious. My bicycle, yeah, good? You want like, yeah? Okay, yes. Looks like all the houses are made out of mud and manure here, so it's, the house I slept in last night was similar, and it kept us very cool, cool during the day out of the hot sun, and it was pretty warm at night too, so these people obviously know what they're doing. The guy built his house all himself, and he had a couple of cows, chickens as well, and we had a nice Jedi and Watt breakfast. Doing some off-roading here, trying to find the canyon. We have some interesting plants, flowers here. Smells very nice. This place has a beautiful aroma. It's almost like a desert of flowers. Very fascinating indeed. We'll see. Hopefully this road takes us to the canyon. We found it. Look at this canyon. It just drops straight down. That's the Blue Nile River right there. We can see a little waterfall. We zoom in, it is the dry season. Anyway, simply amazing. Ethiopia has so much to offer. I'm so close. Hopefully it can support my 78 kilogram frame. This rift. This is the big divide that kept Ethiopia authentic. Nobody's crossing this. No phalanges crossing. Go ahead and try. We see some houses down there. I don't know how they managed to survive. They must be completely self-sufficient as we zoom in. Anyway, they're down there by the Nile River. This is completely untouched. We're just here by ourselves. A few villagers followed us around. Hello, Salam. How are you? Salam. <laughs> so they showed us the way down very kindly, escorting us. What do you think of this place? Yes. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's also very easy to be a vegetarian in Ethiopia because everybody fasts, refrains from eating meat, they call it fasting on Wednesdays and Fridays so you can find uh, vegetables all over and nice uh, curries 
and pastes made of vegetables every Wednesday and Friday. So it's a very easy place to find nutritious food. All right, well, that last guy with the house with the view had an AK-47 wrapped around his shoulder, so I decided to skip out on talking to him and seeing if he would let me enjoy the view. Uh, it's one thing about Ethiopia I've noticed. If you cycle through this country and a lot of the villages, pause for a second for this van, is a lot of AK-47s. People carry these big guns around because there are some feuds between all the different ethnicity, ethnicities around here. They don't get along so well with each other. They're fighting over land, access to water. Sometimes they take each other's animals or livestock, so they carry weapons to defend themselves. I heard this area a few weeks ago was off limits for buses, but now it's cleared up because of the uh, internal conflicts between the Ethiopian people. But it should be okay for outsiders like myself. I'm just a guy coming through, enjoying the scenery, so I have nothing to do with the conflict. Um, so if something were to happen, uh, according to my research, I would just be put on a bus or some, side of, some sort of police vehicle and shipped out of here. That's what I saw happening to some other tourists a few weeks ago, but traveling by bicycle, but so far, so. So, uh, before you were mentioning how much you admire the prime minister, the new prime minister, could you tell me if I am him, what would you like to say to the prime minister? Pretend I am him. Oh yeah. my God, if I would meet the new prime minister of Ethiopia, I would not say anything. I would just say, keep going. Mm -hmm. Follow your spirit. Very appreciating. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I can say because he's doing all the right things. Okay. And he's one of the best a new prime minister in the world. Mm -hmm. Is Dr. Abiy Ahmed. Oh, okay. What makes him the best prime minister in the world? That's a very good question. America, Europe, they're more educated people. Mm -hmm. And we were 27 years with a dictator government and he's been changing for since seven eight months he's doing very big change for the country and mm -hmm. to admire all people equal yes yes so he's being hard job in a short time yes yes and before you mentioned there was not uh, equality among people yeah the Tugara people happening? were in power mm -hmm. so they only care about their region mm -hmm. and they do a lot of investing for their religion mm -hmm. But the new prime minister, he care about for Tigray, Oromia, Afar, all the country make equal, mm -hmm. and give donated for the country all equal. Oh, okay. If people has make guilty from his region, mm -hmm. he take them to jail. Oh, okay. So I understand in Ethiopia there are many different ethnicities of people, right? Amarek, Oromek, yeah, Tigray. Yeah, Tigray. How, how is the relationship between the people? Because there are so many different people. Yeah, uh, How is this? Yeah, that's true. Like, for example, was last 27 years power mm -hmm. from Tigray. I mm -hmm. cannot say all Tigray is bad, but a few people from the leaders, mm -hmm. they're from Tigray. So they de they cannot sign for all Tigrayans, but mm -hmm. they make problems. And people think bad things are bad for Tigrayans mm -hmm. because of these few people mm -hmm. doing a bad things for a country. Uh huh. What kind of bad things did the Tigray people do? The government, yeah. they kill people, they mm -hmm. invest for their regions, mm -hmm. they do a lot of bad things for the country. They kill people mm -hmm. and uh, they make uh, Tigray more better, beautiful town oh. than the others. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. And how is the feeling towards uh, Tigray people now because they were in power by other groups? Uh, is there some uh, rivalry against Tigray people? It was no. some problems, yes. but now the new prime minister he's solving the problem. That's why I am appreciating. Yes, he don't yes. like war. Yes, just 
peace discussion you know yes yes he make all the solution for all the regions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what he's doing so this change happened in such a short time very uh, very short time so i understand um in some other countries where there is similar situation maybe there is adjustment period of change so how is this adjustment period going in ethiopia He's like a miracle for yes. us. It's a miracle. It's yes. like dreaming for the country. Yes. Yeah. So me, I never believe Ethiopia will get such a new governor, such a new prime minister. Yes. Even I don't think America will get for future. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's what I think because yes. he's doing. He's very smart, very educated. He was been army yes. defender. He knows everything about. Yes. So well experienced. Oh. about everything okay so in 10 years from now what kind of ethiopia do you imagine your oh, perfect I, ethiopia i imagine very big change for the country yes. for people for countryside a lot mm. of investment uh -huh. for farmers mm. and for city hospitals education like when you come from Adit, you saw mm -hmm. a big building yes it's soon starting by a new prime minister was here opening oh. Oh, okay. The new hospital. Yes. He go everywhere mm -hmm. to make equal. Oh. People being on leader, mm -hmm. that's their job to survive the people. Yes. Not to be a power person, you know. Yes. They are for working for people. Yes. It's what he's teaching for the people. Oh, okay. He don't want to be a prime minister. He just want to show uh -huh. for the new generation. Yes. To become doing good for our country, pass for the generation to the generation. Okay. So for me, he's better than king or emperors. Okay. For a short time, he's more than them. Okay. Because he fair is doing very very great things for our country. Okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate. Love you, new prime minister, Dr. Abiyan.